Hello, hope you're having an amazing day. Today I want to share with you how you can create your own pagination within your Wix Studio website. So currently it's not available yet. They say they're going to add it, but who has time to wait, right? So normally when you go into your classic with Wix editor, you can find it under input. So even if you turn on this part right here, um, let's get into this really quick. Okay. So even if you go under input and you try to um, find the pagination, you're going to notice it's not here. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to create one. And the coolest part about this is that you'll have full control of what it looks like and it's going to be actually much nicer design. So it's going to be very, very simple. So to start, if you already have data, then you're just going to skip to that part. But if you're new again, I'm just going to create a sample page. So we're going to go here. I'm going to add a dynamic page. I'm going to add everything from scratch. So that way it's easier for you to follow and see where, where we are. Uh, for this one, we're going to use uh, projects. Yeah, let's use this one. And then another cool thing that I'm going to show you is uh, we're going to turn it into an actual search functionality. So that's going to be actually super easy and simple to do. And one last thing here. Okay. So we have the title, description, all the stuff. And currently we have six items. So the way Wix works is it detects each item as part of a page. So you can select how many items are a page. So that's how you're going to decide what, how many items are in a page. Okay. So right now we have six, but because I don't have enough data, I'm going to just put one item per page. So that way you can see the whole uh, process. So here we're going to add an element. We're going to add this empty space right here and we're going to add a search so we can find the project name, a button. We're going to do um, the pagination also. And we can actually start first with the pagination just because I feel like that's the whole video about, right? And the extra bonus that I'm going to give you is using the search functionality part. So let's go here. You're going to need a button. So this is my favorite one. I'm going to use this one and we're just going to change the icon on this one. So here we're going to do, uh, you can go here and type back arrow and then use uh, the one that you like the most. Let's see which one will, let's see. Let's just do previous actually, previous arrow. Just so I can find some that looks similar. Okay, this one will be a really nice one. But again, it's totally preference. So let's just use this one just because it looks nice. And then uh, what we can do here is on the right side, on the icon, you can change the color too. So if let's say you want to do a different color, let's do like a green and let's make a little smaller. So do it like 16. And then the size of the button, I'm going to turn it into 40 by 40 just because I don't want it also to be too big, right? So we have that one. Now we're going to duplicate this one. And all you have to do here is just flip it that way. And let's see. Make sure it's aligned so it's not crooked. Uh, okay. So we have it right there. The next thing you want to do is add just another button and you can duplicate that one. But in this case, we're just going to use this one because it's easier. And then all you have to do here is just add, uh, I'm going to add double zero just so I have enough space to know where uh, the button is going to be. And then we're going to do it like this. And when you go here, make sure it's center. And then we're also going to do a 40 by 40. And then uh, the borders, we're going to change them so they're not too 
uh, dark so it looks nicer so there you go so and then you're gonna duplicate this one again and we're gonna add one more so we're gonna add three of them so we have this one right here and right there and then you just get everything closer again this is the coolest part you can change the design if you don't want it to have the boxes around it that's totally fine but it's totally up to you then what i would normally do is i can just stack them all so anytime the page expands that's gonna work uh, really good so it won't be going all over the place and let's just center right there now what we're gonna do is if you haven't turned on your uh, coding mode then make sure you turn it on right here right now this one's already on so we're just gonna expand this and then we're gonna start adding the code that we need uh, for this so first we're gonna do the buttons for um, for this one so we're gonna change the ID on those and let's, let me expand this actually and right there okay so one easy thing that I like to do because you're just gonna copy the code that you have access on the description uh, I have a link where you can have it and then you can just go into that page again it's in the description copy the code and just paste it right here so once you paste the code you're gonna notice it's gonna be a few errors right so the one that we want is the first one which is previous button right so this one it's this one right here so you, you just gotta change the name so we're gonna do previous btn and that should delete the button sometimes when you type the but uh, you type the ID of the button make sure you click right here under the thing because sometimes if you after type it go directly here it might not change it and you might think that it didn't work but sometimes I don't know why that Wix does that so make sure you click here and then the other button this one is gonna be uh, next and then oh, lowercase also there's another thing is this is case sensitive so make sure that you are looking to you know to make sure it matches so that's it so you have those two and then this one we're gonna turn it into the first one which is page one btn so it's gonna be lowercase page number one capital case tn so it's gonna be uh, page one btn for the first button second button is gonna be page two so we're gonna do this one page and then we're gonna change this one to and then click on the side so you notice it, you were just missing one more and then this one is gonna be page uh, lowercase page 3 btn and then you have those next you want to add the handlers to make sure that they work so you're gonna click on the first button and if you notice here on the button right we have the the first button and actually actually on this one we might not even need a handler let me take a look one more time because sometimes i forget uh yeah so yeah we don't need a handler on this two but we do need them on the ones on the middle so as you can see here page one btn on click right so this is right here so when you click on this button or element you want to make sure you go to the event handlers and add on click once you add it make sure there's not a number because sometimes it will have a number one in front of it uh, so make sure it's just exactly like this and then you add it so i'm gonna delete this because why we delete it is because it's already on the code usually you will need it when you're creating the code from scratch so it kind of helps you speed up things but since you already have the code all you have to do is just do this and then click add and then the third one on click and then add right there okay so once you do that part then the next one i have this uh repeater id so that's what's going to be for the repeater where you want to show the results so on this repeater if we go here the repeater id here is repeater one 
and then on the code is directory repeater you can just change this one to the name of your repeater um, because it's only one time as you can see here it's only one time oh and let's delete this one because we also don't need it so as you can see it's only one error so you only have to change it here so what i'll do is i can just copy this and then go to this repeater and replace it and that's it so now everything is there the next thing you want to know is right here on the first uh so, sorry on the second line of code this is the number of items that you want to display per page okay so here i have it again as one if you want to display 20 items per page because it depends on how much data you have so let's say you have 100 items then it will make sense to do let's say 10 or 20 per page because you have a, a lot but in our example because we only have uh six items or seven i forgot let me see uh yeah six items uh i'm gonna do only one per page i'll just actually do two per page so that way you can see the buttons because that's what i really want to show here so we're gonna do uh two items per page right here and now we can test it so if we go to preview first is gonna change uh let's see here oh yeah one last thing i almost forgot so one other thing that happened here is uh we didn't change the name of our collection because of course it has to match and we have to change the name of our um data set right so first let's change the name of our collection so let's go here this is the name of our collection so you gotta replace this for the collection that you have so let's go here into your collections under settings and you have to copy this once you copy this you can close it and then let's replace it and that's it so now it's rep uh, replaced right here and then in this part also we have to change it and this is the thing about collections is that because it's part of like the code you won't have an error so it's hard to detect sometimes because you're not using ids for the collection so we start from the beginning as you can see here we have the pay the buttons and then as we scroll down here we have the next preview button and then here it's gonna query under projects it's gonna show in the repeater and then again here is under projects so if we keep scrolling that's all the ones that we have and then right here uh that's if you notice i didn't change the color of the other stuff because it's gonna do light gray for the ones that are selected but if you want to change it you can also change it right here to uh, change the color inside the selected item so now we can test it and it should not give us any error yet there you go so you can see there's no errors and it's uh, the first item is showing so that's why it's already selected so when we go into the second one it's showing us there and then the third one and then if i click next it should be able to change these buttons but again because i don't have enough elements it's not going to do anything so it automatically disables so now let's change this so we can actually see what it will do so we're going to change it to one so we only see one element at a time and it's easier so you can see that this is actually working so there's one two three and then i go five and i can go back to four and then if i go to the last one six or i can go back to four and it changes so that's it hopefully this video is super helpful uh one last thing let's do here actually just to make sure we can add this and then we're going to do stop that way when we actually see it on a on the actual live uh it will stay together so they won't go just everywhere so if we can go here as you can see it stays together and then you can just adjust the breakpoints um i know i mentioned that i was going to show you how to do the search on um 
on the other element which was like having a search for projects but i'm gonna owe you that one on the next video just because i just noticed it's a little late for me so i want to make sure i do a good job and show you everything but we're still going to use this same sample but i hope this helps you a lot uh, in completing uh, the project that you have let me know in the comments if there's something that you would like to see or that you need help with and again thank you for the support Make sure you subscribe if you haven't and see you in the next video.